What is up all of you awesome and amazing people on YouTube? Kuda Malo here coming at you with another exciting video. Yes, we are lifting the lid on this all clad four quart saucepan. I think this is the perfect size for like, if you're a solo person, maybe you've got one other person that's with you that you're meal prepping for, great. If you're like a family of four, this is like the perfect size to, to cook in. For any of your, like, I'm right now I'm making rice. This is Dewat Ultima Extra Long Grain Basmati Rice. I love basmati rice. Supposedly it's a little bit healthier for you than, like, say, you know, the Uncle Ben's version or whatever, I think. Something like that. Anyways, quote me, comment down below, do some research. The glycemic index is supposed to be a little bit lower with basmati rice than it is with just your regular old standard American rice. Anyways... The reason why I like this pot is because the thickness of the material, I think this is the D3 version. I'll put a link in the description section down there below for an exact link to this pot, but it's great. The handle always stays cool to the touch. Right now I've got some of that basmati rice going in there. I'm on medium heat. What I'm gonna do is when this reaches a boil, I'm gonna shut off the gas, cover it with the lid. Lid fits really tight, by the way. Lid fits perfect. You can't see what's going on in there, but the lid fits pretty good. You know, I would say from beginner to advanced chefs or cooks or home cooks or whatever, you know, people that are watching this video, you'll kind of get a feel for it. Like you can listen for the boiling, you know, you'll know when it's kind of ready when you got to lift the lid. By the way, this does stay pretty decently cool to the touch. You may still want to use like a towel or some kind of... Uh, you know, something just like a kitchen, like I have these things all over the place. You might want to have a towel just to make sure that you're not going to burn yourself when you do lift this because it may still be hot. So it just kind of depends on how high, how high the heat was and all that. But anyways, as a review of this, I think it's fantastic. It's a cool little pot. I like it. I try to do, you know, most of my rice cooking in here, if not all of it. And speaking of the rice, the rice is great. The basmati rice. It's, uh, it's been good to me. Sauces, soups. Sometimes I'll do bone broth soup in here, right? Like what I'll do is I'll, I'll buy some shank bones from the local grocer or whatever farmer's market, put those in there, let them brown up. And then I'll put some vegetables in there, some tomato paste, some garlic, let all that kind of marinate for a little bit and kind of get all nice and good. Then I'll add my water, two, three cups of water or whatever, and then boil it off. And then basically filter out everything, just get down to the bone broth soup itself. And then maybe the next day or another meal, I might have the actual shank that was in there and then have that as another meal. Or you could do a soup together. Whatever you want to do in here, believe me, sky's the limit. But I like this size. It's a good size. Here's a fork for comparison. If you want to see like how long the handle is, it's about the length of like your standard fork, right? Stick a fork in me, I'm done. This is what the diameter looks like, if you're curious about that. I've done a review on this before with actual measuring tape and measuring and how deep it was and how wide it was and how yada yada. So go back into my video history of my reviews and you'll see that. This was more of just a quick recap and update. Let's call this like a two year update, three year update. I think now it's been three years that I've had this thing, wow. So it's been amazing. I keep it pretty clean. You know, keep it all nice and clean every time I use it and all that good stuff. But it's a definitely a good performer, something I would buy again, you know, if I had to have like a second one for whatever reason. Maybe I'm, I don't know, whatever. But anyways, you get the idea. So links will be in the description. Hit the like button. Hit the comments section if you have any comments, questions, whatever. And uh, I'll catch you on the next thing video. And by the way, if you're curious about what's in there, I've got three cups of rice. I've got... Uh, enough water to cover the rice by about a half an inch. That's my secret to making good rice. Check out the other videos that I posted before and you'll see all that. And then what I've got is about a teaspoon of salt per cup of rice. So three cups of rice is three teaspoons of salt. And then what I did was to spice it up a little bit, I put some chili flake in there and I put a little bit of some uh, vegetable seasoning in there just to kind of give it a little bit more flavor than just standard white rice. But a lot of times I just make the white rice without just salt and that's it and good to go. Oh, and, and fats. So what I've gotten there is about a third of a teaspoon of some kind of fat, either butter, olive oil, whatever. 
per cup of rice. So three cups of rice, I've got one full teaspoon of olive oil in there. All that's looking pretty good. So we're starting to come to a simmer, not quite a boil, almost a boil. We're almost at a boil. But when this does hit a full-blown boil, rolling boil, I'm going to cover it, shut off the heat, let it go for about 20, 25 minutes, let it marinate, settle, all the good stuff, and then uncover it and then fluff with an actual fork, and I'm good to go. Anyways, Kudamaloy, catch you all in the next exciting video.